Hey everybody, it's the boss lady here. I'm a little hot. <laughs> Sorry about that. Wanted to start this video off, but oh we I've been running around. I went to Walmart. I didn't do a walkthrough video. Um I was just getting some groceries and now I done put half the groceries away, so you won't get a grocery haul video either. Um, but I do have to go to another grocery store, so you may get a haul from there. Woo, my hair looking kind of rough. Y'all, I've been sweating. I got my ponytail out in the back, but I got on my leopard print scarf with my leopard print sweater, y'all. Let me tell you. Well, when I get out, I'm going to put it back on. But in the car, I can't wear it. I mean, I'm sweating, sweating. <laughs> but it's, it's nice and warm, I tell you that. We woke up to 37 degrees this morning. Praise God, no snow here, but there was snow um, north of us. I got my chair on too, so that's probably another reason why I'm cold, or not cold, but hot. Make sure I got it in reverse. I don't want to hit the garage, you know what I'm saying? So I'm in a different angle today. Um, I put into the driveway um, to drop the stuff off. I still got the water in the car. But anyway, we getting ready to go get some coffee. I got to go to the UPS store. I need to go to Dollar Tree first, though. Because um, I want to pick up just a little something before I go to the UPS store. Uh, yeah, so that's what we're going to do right now. So we're just going to vlog because that's what it is. It's Vlogtober, right? Ooh, so thank y'all for those who did comment and like the video. Um the one the Ray Dunn video I <laughs> guys when I got home now a lot of my videos have been pre-recorded I will tell you that but that particular video was not necessarily pre-recorded uh, I had every intention to record that video right after work on Friday well I got off work and y'all I was like ready to eat dinner ready to relax and it was a situation so by the time I did eat dinner relax I fell asleep <laughs> and then well I fell asleep because boss man was in the office and he was doing some stuff and I couldn't we couldn't be in there at the same time it just it wasn't going to happen you know sharing offices sometimes can be not so fun when you both are trying to do certain things so he was trying to do his thing I was trying to do my thing and I was just like yeah that's not gonna work because the vibe is off so that's why I went to sleep. Took my nails off. I'm gonna redo them after I do some cleaning this weekend. But um, <laughs> so what ended up what ended up happening? Um, I ended up going to sleep. I woke up at 2:30 in the morning, the day of that you saw that video, y'all. <laughs> So if you if you listen to the beginning of the video, boss they sound a bit tired. I know I sound a bit tired. And then next thing you know, I kind of picked up a little bit once I kind of opened the cabinet and was you know down on the floor. Literally, I'm down on the floor in my pajamas. That's one reason why when I did the the first overview, I was kind of out the shot because you could see the reflection. Y'all was in my pajamas. So <laughs> hey, I got it done though, didn't I? So, but yeah, so now I'm going to go and um, I need to pick up just a little something at Dollar Tree and then take myself on to the UPS store. I'm going to find me a drive through coffee spot because I want some coffee and call it a day. Today was, well, I was going to record when we were at Walmart, but my, my zhuzh was off. Was It was totally off. Like, boss man and I weren't vibing I was just like let me do what I'm doing and it just it didn't it didn't work so I was like yeah I'm not gonna turn on the camera because boss lady was none too happy right so yeah it wasn't gonna work mm -mm -mm. we just witnessed um I'll go this way because I'll be sitting here waiting on Jesus to come back there anyway <laughs> uh we witnessed a true act of kindness today. So I don't know about you all, but in our city, we have a lot, a lot, a lot of homeless people. And we have a lot of people who, is it called panhandling? I think that's what it's called, panhandling, when they, they're on the corners with a sign asking for money or asking for food. And so we witnessed um, 
Now, me personally, that's not how I give back. I just, I, I, I cannot. I just, I cannot. Um, but we witnessed a man. At first, I was like, what's he doing? Because I was thinking to myself, there's no bakery around here. This man had an arm full of bread and, like, cookies and brownies and something. And where we were, there was no store like that. But anyway, he... He went, there was like one, two, three. There was three different people, you know, begging for money and food or whatever. And he went to each person and gave them like two loaves of bread and a thing of cookies and brownies. And and I was like, wow, you don't see that every day. I mean, you just don't. You don't see that every day. And so um, I just thought that was an amazing gesture. So there are some very good people in the world. And let me might add, let me just, let me throw this out there. Let me throw this tidbit, little, little nugget. The people who were asking for money and, and panhandling stuff, they were white. And the person who helped them was also white. I don't know why that makes a difference, but, you know, sometimes, you know, people think that only certain ethnic groups beg. I didn't see that. So, anyway. I'm back, y'all. Whew. I had to hurry up and get in the truck. I had a man in there trying to trying to proposition me. Lord help. Y'all see what happens wearing this leopard print stuff? Because I mean, he showed what's coming. Baby, first of all, don't look that old. Okay. Just because my good hair is pulled back. Ooh. There you go. Wait a minute. Can you see him? There you go. Yep, that's him. Y'all, he was trying to proposition me. Talking about, uh, excuse me, ma'am. I'm like, first of all, you ought to be my daddy, probably my grandpappy. But anyway, yes, can I help you? Talking about some, uh, do you need some lawn work? No. You need some work done around your house? No, thank you. Oh, well, I need a woman like you then. You don't need nothing done. I said, sir, I'm happily married. He was like, I was just playing with you. I hope you don't mind. <laughs> Honey. If I didn't have a mission, I'm trying to uh-oh. I'm trying to get somewhere. Shoot. Yeah, see folks falling off in these stores now. It's time for me to hurry up and get gone. But anyway. Yeah, I was just like, are you serious? I mean, he, honey, he was trying it. Because there was a lady behind me, but she kept jumping out the line. So, because she jumped at the line, he kind of jumped ahead and was like, hey. I'm like, no. <laughs> Move around, please. So, they didn't have any bubble wrap, but they had a whole lot of other mess in there. And y'all know Dollar Tree. If you don't get it when you see it, you're not going to get it. You are not, you know, it won't be available. And boss man's like, I don't want to hear your mouth. <laughs> I don't know what people be referring to. Leave me be. Y'all, I had a hard day at work. Oh, my goodness. Folks was yelling at me. Yelling at me. Yelling at the boss lady, y'all. And guess what? Boss lady held her composure. Praise God. I had to keep telling the person I'm in the middle of something. I will, you know, review. Oh, Lord, here go another funeral. Um, I went to the cemetery this morning to uh, pay respects to my grandparents. And they was setting up out there. They had at least two set up, getting ready to. I was like, Lord, hell, let me hurry up and get up out of here. But anyway, so I had to keep telling the person, you know, I am in the middle of something. You know, I will get on it. Let me make a call. Let me double check it. I already checked it. But since you don't believe I checked it, let me, you know. And the person was yelling at me. Yelling at the boss lady, y'all. I was like, Lord help. So, I had to report them to their boss. <laughs> Because I'm like, uh, yeah, I don't know who you're talking to. Now, had I been, how many years apart as myself and, and a baby girl? 
we 15 years apart. Had this been about 15 years ago, baby, I would have snapped, crackle, pop, and told that lady where to go, how to get there with the gasoline underpants on. Do you hear me? But I held my composure. What's the temp? 46. No, let me put my scarf back on. I was like, I could just leave it in the car. Yeah, I'll be hot. I'll be hot. Oh, catch ammonia. I'll be back. Let me see if they got some bubble wrap because I need bubble wrap. I got tissue. I did pick up tissue paper because I said, well, at least I could wrap it in tissue paper. But I would prefer some bubble wrap. Yo, why didn't nobody tell me? Of course, I could have looked for myself. But why didn't anybody tell me that Dollar General has a big old craft section? So you know how everybody's running to Dollar Tree, going to the Crafter Square, and all Dollar Trees aren't created equal. Well, you know, I was like, I never thought to think to go to Dollar General to look for craft stuff. Well, anyway, I had to get my, my, um, remember I said I was going there to get bubble wrap, and I'm going to go ahead and get moving in a second, but I got my bubble wrap, hello, why when I was in there, they even sell boxes, y'all, and I need a box, okay, so I just got a small thing of bubble wrap, because I mean, I only got to wrap one thing, but you know, I still wanted to wrap it, you know, even though I'm going to put tissue paper and stuff on it, but yeah. But they got a whole craft section, like paint brushes. I'm running to daggone Walmart and everything, getting stuff. Chad, I could have been right here at Dollar General and Dollar Tree. But you know what I mean. So, yeah, there was something in there. Oh, I even got my tape because, you know, UPS store, they charge you for tape, honey. They charge you to tape it up. They charge you for everything. So, we're going to go over to the UPS store. I'm going to go ahead and, you know, do the box and stuff. And then, you know. But, yeah, I was able to find... Um, a craft that I want to do for next to nothing. I mean, I spent, well, all in all, I spent like $14. But now that I know I can get packing supplies there, oh my gosh, they had like three different size boxes. Uh, I think at least two or three different size rolls of, um, of the bubble wrap. And then they had the tape and yeah, I was slipping, slipping and tripping. Cause I'm like, well, and it had the envelopes and everything too. So, yeah, <laughs> thank you, Dollar General. Because, you know, this Dollar General, matter of fact, I was because I was getting ready to complain, this Dollar General didn't have what I was looking for. There was a, um, a Christmas item that I've been looking for, and this Dollar General just does not have it. And I'm just like, well, and this is the closest one to me. I, I go to the one that's over by Discount 70, but this one's closer to me. So, you know, you figure, hey, why not? No. Hey y'all, I'm back in the car now. Whew. Actually, um, we I had uh I've been where I need to be. I'm getting ready to head to the UPS store now. <laughs> so I made a pit stop to Home Goods and uh just walked around see what I could see. They didn't have a whole whole lot in there. Oh, I hope this box is big enough, y'all. I didn't measure. Oh, oh, oh. I hope it's big enough. Let me see. Yeah, it should be. See, that's how big the box is. Let me find the tape. Um, I forgot how to work this thing because, you know, I ain't worked one of these in forever. Okay, so everything is sealed. So it's sealed, 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 sealed. So I just have my card left to do. And I just realized I left my purse at home. So I may not have a pen in the car. I want to have this filled out by the time I walk in there. So I could just walk up and, you know, take care of business. But, um, yeah, no, that's not going to work for me today because I don't have a pen in the car. I normally always have a pen in the car, but you know how, you know how people be, oh, can I borrow your pen type of situation? Child, I don't have pen the first. I mean, I got everything under the sun in this little console. Shoot. These are my little cards. I don't even think I got a pen in my wallet because I typically don't keep one in here. We gonna pray. We gonna pray. We gonna pray. Oh Lord, no! Oh 
Lord have mercy. No pen in the car. No pen. No pen. I'm looking, looking, looking. Sometimes I'll drop one, you know. Mm. Ouch. Lord help. Pulling on my hair. Jesus. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, what am I going to do? I don't have no pen. Oh, my God. And I know there's not one in the glove box because folks always take my pens. See what happens. Oh, well. Mm. Whew. You get the sweating child here, get the rolling. Lord help. I tell you one thing. Boss lady either getting her hair braided or she getting a new girlfriend, one or the other. But honey, I'm tired of this hair. Tired, tired, tired. It's time, time for it to go up. Time for it to go up. There is not a pin in sight in this car. Lord Jesus. Oh, we were looking for Matt. Chad, I got brand new mask right here. Because boss man show was looking. Let me put him in my glove box. I mean, we had found him one, but still. Oh, well, I guess that'd be it. So, <laughs> get this tape off my car. Put that over there because I got trash all over there in the front. I have no pen. Well, because I have to do it inside the store. So, I'm going to end this video here. I do have one more place to stop. Um... I have to pick up baby girl's uh, gift, and I'm not going to do that on camera in case she, you know, decided to roll through and watch anything. Um, I got part of her gift already. It was shipped to me, so the rest is uh, I have to pick up in the store because her birthday is before mine. Hers is November the 8th, so I want to make sure I have all her stuff. So, anyway... Thank y'all for watching and rolling with Boss Lady today. I know this video was kind of long, but I thought it'd be kind of fun or whatever. Um, so, yeah. See y'all in the video. Bye, guys.